I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the big leaf magnolia. Big leaf magnolia, Magnolia macrophylla, is a deciduous to semi-evergreen tree that is known for its extremely large leaves. In fact, it has some of the largest simple leaves of any tree native to North America. Big leaf magnolia typically grows about 30 to 40 feet tall, and it has a rounded canopy and somewhat coarse appearance. It has a moderate growth rate and is relatively short-lived. Big leaf magnolia is typically an understory tree in a forest setting. The unusually large leaves and showy flowers make this a really interesting specimen tree in the landscape. Big leaf magnolia is native to Ohio, down to Florida, in Arkansas, and to Louisiana. While it occurs over a relatively large area, it is a scarce tree throughout its range. In Kentucky, it is found mostly in the eastern part of the state. Trees grow best in moist, well-drained soils that are slightly acidic and with a fair amount of organic content. It is usually found growing in river valleys, coves, or ravines, and along streams. The tree is classified as shade tolerant. Trees are susceptible to ice and wind damage, and if planting is a specimen tree in the landscape, the site should meet the tree's soil and moisture requirements and provide protection from wind. It should be noted that the large leaves decompose slowly, and some may consider them unsightly. The leaves are deciduous, but can be semi-evergreen in the deep south. They are alternately arranged on the twig and simple in form. They're usually about 20 to 30 inches long with entire, somewhat wavy margins. The base of the leaf resembles two earlobes, or the letter B, as you can see in the picture. And this is a good way to tell big leaf magnolia from umbrella magnolia, which has a V-shaped leaf base, which you can also see in the photo. The leaves are green above and whitish with hairs on the underside, and fall leaf color is yellow. Big leaf magnolia is monoecious, meaning the tree has both male and female flowers. The flowers are creamy white, large, about 10 to 14 inches across. They're showy and very fragrant. The inner flower petals tend to have a light purple stain near the base. The flowers bloom in spring from May until June, depending on location. And trees typically begin to flower after about 12 years of age. And the flowers are pollinated by beetles. The fruit is cone-like and nearly round, and it's typically about two to three inches long. And as it matures, it turns to a nice, a very attractive rose color. The surface is somewhat fuzzy, and the fruit ripens in late summer and releases individual red-coated seeds suspended on slender threads at maturity. A few songbirds and a few small mammals eat the seeds. The bark is thin, smooth, and grayish brown, and tends to develop platy patches as the tree ages. The national champion big leaf magnolia as of 2021 is in Baltimore, Maryland. It has a 90 inch circumference. It's 70 feet tall with a 56 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion as of 2021 is in Bell County at Pine Mountain State Resort Park. It has a 35 inch circumference, is 60 feet tall with an 18 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about big leaf magnolia. The tree's common name comes from its very large leaves. In fact, they are considered the largest simple leaves in North America. Native Americans, including the Cherokee, use the inner bark as an analgesic, for, also for an upset stomach and for toothaches. Big leaf magnolia was described by the French naturalist André Michaud in 1795 and was introduced into cultivation in 1800. Even though it's not widely used as a landscape tree, it's more of a specimen tree. In fall and winter, after the leaves have fallen to the forest floor, it appears to be strewn with newspaper underneath those trees. The genus name Magnolia was in honor of 18th century French botanist Pierre Magnol, and the species name Macrophylla is from the Greek macros and phyla, which means large leaves. I hope you enjoyed learning about big leaf magnolia. You get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy this most interesting magnolia.